Who is a hero? Of course, we are not talking about the Avengers, but the real-life heroes who bring about a change. If we look around, there are numerous heroes present in our vicinity. We at an Access ARSD personally know one such hero, Neha Didi, a simple woman leading an even simpler life in a shelter home. Well, a few years back, she was neglected by the society, had no family, no source of income, and lived in an abysmal condition. But now, she is earning for herself and is able to lead a better life, which no doubt is a success when you see the things from her perspective. Like Neha Didi, there are many such heroes who started from scratch and are now an inspiration to all. To tackle this problem, a group of like-minded, determined people came together to form a student-led organization called Enactus ARST. Enactus is a team of young thinkers who believe that a sense of empathy, a spirit of empowerment, and resultant ecstasy can work wonders in creating a better world. For us, Enactus is much more than a society. It's a family away from home. Enactus ARST saw its inception in April 2017, created for the welfare of underprivileged women and marginalized communities. Our main focus is to guide the downtrodden towards the mainstream society. These people fought the circumstances, displayed resilience, strength, and emerged victorious. They are our heroes. We made them understand the meaning of business and in return, they helped us understand life. They chose to work hard to be able to live with dignity and lead a self-sustaining life. Well, who else do we call a hero? According to the 2011 census, 64.6% is the literacy rate of women in India with only 45% of them from marginalized communities, out of which only 21.47% who received any form of employment fall under the underpaid categories. Talking about economic status of marginalized women, on an average, their weekly wage is below 17 rupees, participation falling to only 4% in the economy. The workforce participation of women in India is 47% and that of the marginalized communities is only 23%. We came in touch with women communities of Satyaniketan, Darya Ganj and Malka Ganj. Now you must be wondering why specifically these communities? Well, we found that these communities had skills but lacked opportunities and resources. All they needed was a social and financial boost to propel them on a path of self-sustenance. Project Kalakari empowers socially and economically underprivileged women by utilizing their skills to make them self-reliant entrepreneurs. Our associated community started with producing canvas bags, but as many women in one of our associated organizations are an NGO were differently abled, we decided to introduce a new line of products called the Flora Notebooks. These were relatively easy to make and most women could contribute to make them and thereby earn money. We then diversified our product line further by making folders, bottle covers and mobile charging station made with upcycled and used denim. We conduct donation drives on a regular basis to collect old denim jeans and clothes which are then used in making our products and the ones in good condition are donated to our communities. We are constantly updating our product design as per the needs of the market. Funds are raised through donation drives and sponsorships. Notebooks purchased are made from recycled material, denim is collected through donation drives and canvas is purchased from Azad Market. A wide range of products are manufactured by our communities. These include floral notebooks, canvas bags, folders and denim products. Laptop covers are in the nascent stage of production and will soon become a new product line. Orders are placed through social media handles and delivered according to customers' convenience. Products are sold at other college events and through a flagship event, Kaushal. A B2B distribution channel is under progress for the benefit of consumers. Productivity-based revenues are given to our heroes. Some amount is set aside for reinvestment in the business. Having seen a low labor participation rate of women, we at Enactus CRST conceive Project Kalakari, which aims to impart necessary skills to create women entrepreneurs from the underprivileged sections of society. Till date, we've uplifted 30 women. Embracing the fact that 1800 gallons of water is used to make just one pair of denim jeans, we decided to upcycle denim to make new and fancy products. 
We all are aware of how harmful plastic is for Earth, yet plastic bags are widely used around the world. We decided to manufacture durable and easily accessible alternatives to this. Canvas bags. We've been able to sell more than 200 such bags in a span of just six months. Our team has seen our heroes grow. The women entrepreneurs who started from earning 20 to 30 rupees per product are now earning 100 to 120 per product and this has made them financially independent. Sustainable development is the masterful balance of meeting our own needs without jeopardizing future generations' ability to do the same. And Project Kalakari actively fulfills many sustainable development goals laid down by the UN. Goals like no poverty, good health and well-being, gender equality, decent work and economic growth, responsible consumption and production, life below water, life on land, and partnerships for the goals are some of these examples. Enactus ARSD has been successful in organizing many events, attracting a large audience. Kaushal, the annual exhibition of Inactus is arguably the most awaited event of the slot. This year, we put up a riveting stall at Delhi Heart INA and in our college premises where we almost sold all of our products. Anyway, the first ever Inactus Day was celebrated for communities of diverse people who are gradually culminating into successful entrepreneurs with the help of our projects. NOA saw participation of Inactus streams from all over Delhi and CR. The teams had set up an amazing exhibition of their own products and garnered attention and praise from students and teachers alike. Apart from the B2B service that we are about to enable in the coming academic session, we are also working on developing our website in order to smoothen our sales channel and distribution process. The website will allow the communities to have an online business, consequently expanding their customer base. However, the conquest of an actor CRSD to make this world a better place is in this short lived. We are not only aiming to change with the new normal, but we are also aiming to adjust for the next normal. Came March 2020 and the worldwide outbreak of coronavirus took us all by surprise and the virus spread like wildfire claiming numerous lives every day. COVID-19 has taught us how critical sanitation is for human health and how following simple cleanliness practices can help curb the spread of this disease. Keeping the same in mind, our newest project, Project Niramya, aims to tackle the issue of lack of hygiene and providing sanitation on the go. Under this project, we aim to provide an on-the-go safety kit which would help consumers by making them less vulnerable to this virus and would ultimately result in reducing further spread of coronavirus. There are over 50 lakh commuters in Delhi using public transport on a daily basis, which specifically makes them our customers. Our customer-oriented research and analysis helped us finalize the products for our kit, which include a sanitizer, a pair of reusable gloves, mask and a pack of wet wipes. These items will be placed in a handy pouch. The kit is easily detachable, which makes it convenient and travel-friendly. Through our extensive market survey, we found that every 7 out of 10 individuals will be interested in purchasing a travel-friendly safety kit. We also presented our idea to a few NGOs and public sector companies and received appreciation for our initiative by Sri Sudesh Nain, Inspector, Delhi Police and Sri Subhash Chandar, Regional Manager, LIC North Zone. NXS ARSD and Project Kalakari have been uplifting the underprivileged sections of the society and have contributed in enabling the financial independence and well-being of several communities of women and we hope that they will continue to do such work in near future. Recently I came to know about NXS ARSD. I support their cause and comment how they have empowered the people who didn't have means to livelihood. We have worked towards giving our product an edge over other alternatives available in the market. Our kit can cost anywhere between Rs 150 to 180 depending on the size of the kit, which is one fourth of what sellers charge. This will directly benefit our sheep renewers as they would earn Rs 30 more on sale of each unit. 
With the Unlock India initiative, we are looking towards a huge market opportunity and expect a sale of 1000 such kits in the first leg of production. And if similar situations persist, the project would soon need scaling up, for which not to mention, we are more ready than ever. Our major goal is to transform all the 30 entrepreneurs into independent heroes and if we are on track, we'll have more such heroes in the span of one year. Our women community at Jamghat is helping us prepare the kids. Their stitching and sewing skills are phenomenal. Zero compromise with style and durability and overall quality of the product will surely make it a hit amongst our consumer base. The travel kits are being prepared by following all necessary COVID-19 guidelines which will in turn guarantee a primary source of income for them and this shall continue in the post-pandemic world as well. We will be working towards defining a permanent distribution channel for our travel kits. The final product will be the outcome of our wholesome and concerted efforts with an equal level of determination exhibited by our partner NGO. In other news, we are also working on creating pedal sanitizer dispensers. These dispensers are termed as need of the R products and are currently being sold at an exorbitant price of Rs 1200. Our communities are as much a blessing to us as we are to them. They have taught us the true meaning of life and selflessness. Over the years, they have become an indispensable part of our lives. We are a small family of diverse people who celebrate all the little joys of life. The old saying, not all heroes wear capes, stands true when it comes to our heroes. We are an actor's team and we have just begun.